I assume you have watched the introduction of how to create freeform uh, profile housings uh, using our script and Sheffer's front panel designer. In this video, I will go over the parameters used to create these special forms, which you have seen in the introduction. Um, there is a crazy Ivan here, and there are all these geometrical shapes. Ah, and by the way, we have the, the plus as well. The plus looks like this. And these, uh, the settings used for those are all found inside the script. They are just commented out. So by default, it will render uh, the, the crazy box here while uh, you have to uncomment these settings for the other ones. So um, let's go to um, Front Design's uh, script dialog, open the freeform profile housing script, and you need to open it, not just run it. So um, first of all, in this advanced introduction to the settings, I need to just clarify that all the parameters you can adjust are listed here and they have descriptions in the code as well. So you can always read what they are all about. Um, but, um, and then of course for the coordinate sets as well, we have already covered in some other videos that we have an X and a Y, which are the two first coordinates here. But then you have an array of housing brackets, then you have an array of joint locations on the upcoming side. And then we have something we have never seen before, which is uh, profile, um, and I think profile, it will tell you here, if it's larger than zero, then a housing profile will be placed uh, in the coordinate uh, specified. And joint thickness is, um, will tell something about um, how, um, what, what the thickness of the side, I think. Let's see, joint thickness, is it not explained? Uh, Okay, it may not be explained, but I think it's the thickness of the of, of this, uh, next side uh, after the joint, actually. So um, I think for housing profiles, um, this is an array of locations of housing brackets. Oh, sorry, I'm confusing profiles and brackets all the time in my speaking. I'm sorry about that. Um, this, it says that the value is the outer distance from the coordinate along the side. If it is negative, it's a stud placed on the side of the panel. And uh, if we look at um, this box, uh, let's see, you can see most of the uh, housing brackets are in fact um, mounted with screws, but there is one case right there. There you see a housing bracket. Uh, I kept the engraving for you to see, but there is a housing bracket right there, but it is mounted on a stud and not having a screw. And um, this, this housing bracket should actually be possible to, to see that we use another sign for it in the coordinate set down here. Okay, so um, I think we'll just execute this and then we'll look at how the script turns out inside front design. So we have this one to look at and we turn on outline mode because as it actually turns out, um, you can see that we have two housing brackets here instead of just one, which is on the produced um, uh, panel. So this will make it easier to see the, the connection between uh, the script and what we get. So we start in this coordinate. It says that the coordinate is minus 10 point minus 10. So yes, in fact, this is minus 10 point minus 10 in, in, uh, you know, in the coordinate system, but never mind. Um, here it's 0, 0.0. So um, at 30 and 50 millimeters up along the side, we have these housing brackets uh, positioned. And um, then you can see another housing bracket up here. And this is uh, specified here because um, the next coordinate set indicates this, this joint. And then we have another coordinate set indicating this joint right here. And it is for this joint and then forward here on side two that we have a housing bracket placed right there. So we were looking for a housing bracket with a negative number in front and that comes after the last joint, which is down here. So actually you can see housing bracket one and number two, the number two housing bracket right there is the one it, it, with the minus in front. And that's the one we saw on the controller, which has uh, had um, a stud on, on the inner side. Okay, what else uh, could we um, imagine? 
Uh, by the way, to obtain the 90 degree angles where you're using housing uh, profiles for the joints, you, uh, you simply need to tweak the parameters until you, you see that it says 90 instead of uh, any other angle. It will automatically print the angle in the uh, guideline or guide engravings. Um, if we look at the thickness of the sides, which is also an, a kind of unusual thing, you can see that uh, we have a, a thickness here which is probably around 2 and I guess this would be 3 just by looking at it. Uh, we can see that um, generally the, um, the side thickness I says 2.5. But um, if, if you look at what is the, th the fifth um, parameter, the fifth parameter, this is the third, the fourth and the fifth. And according to this, the, th the fifth parameter is um, is the the profile um, that turns out not to be uh, entirely true does it well yeah okay so that's that's the profile here what does it say about profile if it's larger than zero then a housing profile would be placed in the coordinate um, and um, the following panel will have a thickness of the value aha okay so now I'm reading up on my own script and it seems that okay this value is larger than zero and 3 indicates that then the side following the housing profile will be 3 mm thick. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So um, that was interesting. Then we are changing the thickness of the side over here at this particular joint. So how did I specify that? Now, um, then we need to go down to, um, I guess, this coordinate, which is um, where we it must be this joint where we have housing brackets at location 20 and uh, 40 and uh, then uh, you have in uh, in here in um, in square brackets uh, it is specified uh, as joint and joint is the location of zero or more panels uh, panel joints on the side if the value is negative it the, um, it actually defines, um, if the value is negative, it, de it defines uh, if, if the overlap is on the one or the other side. I, I have already covered that in another video where uh, a bottom panel uh, was important to design in the right way. Um, but the point is, when I specify a break here, I actually get the thickness, the default side thickness back into the system. And that is what is operating here. Then again, we have another housing bracket here, starting out with the four millimeter thick side. It looks, um, and uh, let's just see that corresponds with this parameter, which is indicates four millimeter thickness of the coming panel. But then eventually we get back to a, a two and a half millimeter thick uh, panel, and that means that we could fairly ask, how is this then a two millimeter panel? the one used out here, um, the, the first panel uh, used at all. And I think that relates to what you see in the, in the bottom here, where we have um, for, for this side here, from, I guess, this joint and onwards, we have um, at uh, 19 minus 10, we have, oh, sorry, it has to be this joint. Yeah, from this joint, uh, we have the two housing pr uh, brackets there and there. And then we have at minus 50 and 80, uh, we have uh, joints um, with the sides. Then we have a zero entered because there is no housing profile there. And then eventually we have um, zero and 2.0, uh, which I think is the thickness of the panel to come right there. To one way to confirm that would be to change this to 4.0 and then press start and run the script again and we should see, oh, we had a, a, an error. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm assuming run, wrong. Uh, it's, uh, it was something else that I had right there because it didn't render that part of the panel, or did it? Mm. Sometimes there are some features that will not render, so I could also try run it again with a changed value. Okay, I run it with zero 
Okay, something is messed up now in the script. It's hard to say what. Um, let's try again. Let's just run it and see what happens. Select the file. Huh, okay. Um, okay, I think I'll just be closing down everything here and then starting front design once more. Not pastepad, open the script like that. And then... Try 2.5 and then see what happens. Yes, um, okay, so now it worked. You can see that this, this panel here is in fact uh, the, the, the expected thickness. We may also bump it up to, to three to see what happens. Okay, as it turns out, this, um, this parameter is kind of undocumented if you look at the description of the coordinate sets. So uh, it was good that I documented it now, huh? Um, ah, okay, there we get a problem again of some sort. Okay, there must be some limitation inside, inside the script that will not allow us to do this, uh, which I just can't come to terms with right now. Anyway, um, I wanted to uh, demonstrate how we could use uh, these other shapes. We have, um, we have the, the, the square and the, the right, uh, triangular and the star-shaped um, see if I can position them so you can see them like this. We have these different types and then of course we have the plus. And uh, if you go to the bottom of the script, uh, not the bottom of the script, but actually the bottom of the example coordinates here, uh, you see we have something called test geometrical shapes. And if we uncomment these, then uh, we should by what I did just now, we should get um, a, the, the square panel generated. Okay, so since we sort of, m I'll just re reboot uh, front design once again. So the JavaScript engine is uh, keeping state from script execution to script execution. So this is why it, the, the memory might be tainted in some way which messes things up for me. Um, but now I, it sh I should be good if I start this one and comment it out again here. Press start. Oh, it's just, yeah, my mind. Sorry. Start. So, uh, with these parameters, I have now generated the black version of, of the panel. You should be able to recognize that uh, it is uh, truly the, um, the profile of, uh, not the black one, but the rectangular one. It's the rectangular panel. And um, these coordinates are really easy to, uh, to take a look at. If, if you s see how it's put together, it's kind of um, obvious. But l just notice one thing if you see here, you can see that on this side, we actually have um, no screw for the housing bracket that you see from the end. And uh, that's uh, due to the uh, minus sign in front of the parameter indicating the location of the housing bracket. If I want to create the plus, I just include this code and uh, then we should get um, the, the, the code for, for the plus um, and then let's just see what happens. Um, start. Okay, we get a uh, few files like that. You can see the profile, uh, it looks pretty correct. Then we have the, the side and the other side and then finally this one. Uh, in fact, this um, the, the plus that I have been uh, showing is um, it, it folds in on the side. So it's actually a modification of these parameters. And I think I may be able to recreate this, um, but it means that I need to enable so-called wings um, by setting this parameter here. 
and I may also need to set the ends mode to zero or even to minus one. Well, I'm not really sure. Let's set it to zero at first and see what happens and see if you can uh, create, I'm sorry, create this uh, scenario. No, we couldn't. I think we need to modify a little bit more set the ends mode to minus one. That's one of the other videos where I did describe how the ends mode is actually working. <coughs> so you might want to watch that if you want to see it. I think this looks uh, ah, more like it, but not, <laughs> not really. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is messed up a little bit. Anyway, with the files for the plus, you will also find some indications of how this was created. I think I may have included the actual script for the plus if you want to see how those uh, come into play. And there are another example inside here of how you can create these uh, wings. Um, so let's study the form of the triangular and the star-shaped uh, cases uh, to end this uh, session. Um, the triangle, we just uncomment this and uh, press start. And then we see, aha, okay, so we had the, the wings from just before enabled Sorry about that, we need to disable that. Like that, and press start again. Okay, and there you see uh, the triangular um, layout. Uh, it is uh, two panels here, and then a really tiny panel keeping it together like that. And uh, then here, a housing bracket. I think um, it is currently adjusted, so it, you, you see that it is <coughs> not exactly this version because uh, the end of the triangle here is inside the profiles. And that, is, uh, that has to do with the ends mode. And I just uh, played with that a moment ago um, and I set it to minus one. Minus one means that um, the panel will be here inside. But if I set it to, uh, let's say, zero and um, run the script, then you will see now the, the panel will be uh, exactly flush with the edges. But if I also turn off the side corner radius, set it to zero, then I will get sharp edges of that panel. So you see now it's absolutely sharp here. Uh, at the edges. And then finally, uh, the original value was in fact two. So it means that with two, it will extend. Uh, uh, now we get the split mode, confusing uh, split mode. Um, okay, so now I get uh, sh sharp, sh sharp corners and it's extending two millimeters around the, the profile itself. Uh, and I should probably reinsert my two millimeter side corner radius uh, to get uh, the correct panel, the one that is in fact the, the test that I've made here. So for the star shape, um, again, you could um, just uncomment uh, these coordinates. And as you can see for the star and the triangle, I, I did some loops and some math to calculate the angles because I was uh, board or I wanted to give it as an example to you in fact so now if we run it again you can uh, you can see here uh, the, the start shape com coming out and uh, how everything looks the angles is written everywhere in the guide engravings um, okay before I close down I could uh, just quickly show some of the other things that this uh, script would render for you if you uh, like and um, Therefore, I will comment out some of these geometrical shapes again. So we are not messing up with those. So those um, we have looked at the small box, the small box with only a bottom. We haven't looked at rack units. Uh, it says in one piece, let's take a look at the rack unit in two pieces. And we have not used the freeform profile housing script to create rack units, but in fact, it's possible. So if you uncomment this section, you will see that um, we actually have here a rack unit in, in two pieces. So um, this would be like uh, the bottom or the top. Maybe it's the top piece that folds down like that. And then uh, here we have uh, the front, top, uh, back and the bottom. Okay, so it is the bottom that we were looking at just before. Um, 
yeah, so uh, that's possible too. And uh, yeah, to be honest, there are really a lot of features in this script which you will just have to uh, to play with the examples to see what is happening and to sort of you know read the comments to get a really good idea about how it's working. In this case, we should have a console with wings. And maybe you remember I tried to use the wings for the plus and in my actual example it did work but my script here generated something slightly different and I couldn't figure it out. But here we have a console which is generated with the wings as you can see. So now we get the split screen again, yeah. Um, so they are folding up and um, just a sec. I think the console form is basically like this one that you have seen in, from another video if you look at it from the side. Uh, but this is just then produced in two pieces of metal that folds together a little bit like a U-box actually. Um, so that's an example you can uncomment and uh, play with if you like. Then we have the typical console that was the one generating this one. And, um, and then the default um, settings. Uh, no, wait a second, it's not default settings for anything. It is uh, standard housing profile one box. Aha, okay, so that's just showing that this script could actually do the same as the Sheffer housing uh, script that we have uh, gone through a, a few times. But I'm not going to bore you with that. I think let's just end here. So the freeform profile housing script has a lot of useful features uh, unique features, you can create some forms that you wouldn't be able to do in any other way. But it is advanced, it has no GUI and it requires you to play with it a lot and also accept the um, added risk of bending panels and making all that fit together. But it's fun and it has produced a lot of useful enclosures for me at least. So hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.